there welcome back to my channel and for today i will be sharing with you the fragrances that i enjoy wearing this summer so these are my current summer fragrances favorite so some of these might not be marketed for summer but i do enjoy wearing them during these hot days so they keep me cool in this hot weather so they are my summer fragrances most of these are light fresh and aquatic scents as they are my kind of scent during the hot day so this is also like an updated version of my last year's best summer fragrances in my collection which i think they still are the best but just over the year i have tried several scents and i have new favorites first one is versace's Versense. so this becomes one of my favorite recently this one is a citrusy spicy and woody scent so just by looking at the liquid inside already gives me that refreshing feeling reminds me of chanel's eau fraiche as well so this one opening you will get that spicy there's a bit of a green scent in there as well spicy and citrusy and once it goes into your skin it becomes a little bit sweet it's sweet and it's clean I think the cardamom in there gives it like a nutty, sweet, spicy scent, which I like. I find this definitely unisex as well. Though this is marketed for women, I don't see a reason why men couldn't enjoy this perfume. I don't find this feminine nor masculine, so I think any gender could actually enjoy this perfume. Also, this is such a classy, fresh scent. I don't find this one generic nor a boring, fresh scent at all. I think this is safe for a daytime occasion or office wear next is another one from the house of versace and this one is bright crystal so this one is a floral citrusy fresh scent so in spite of this being floral i enjoyed wearing this one in summer than um spring so i just love that citrusy fruity opening in it the pomegranate and the yuzu this isn't a sweet fragrance at all so if you love if you don't like sweet fragrances on summer or fruit sweet fragrances at all, then this one might be for you. So it is citrusy, it's floral, and it's really fresh. I don't like warm or sharp or those strong um, scent during hot weather. So this one is perfect for me. It's just a very simple scent, nothing complex. And I think it's very safe to wear anywhere, office, um, daytime, even just at home. I don't find this one. Um, offensive at all so next one is Hugo Boss the scent for her so this one is such uh, another fluorescent favorite of mine this is super super refreshing and delicious the first time I sniffed this one I love it already the creaminess of it it is fruity the peach in here is so good it is fruity and it's creamy and it's refreshing it isn't sweet at all it has a cacao in here but it isn't um, a gourmand type of scent if you're after for a sweetness gourmand chocolatey scent you won't get that in here but i'm glad that it isn't that sweet gourmand scent because i'm not into those types of scent during the hot weather the sweetness in here is more of a light fruity a sweet fruity scent only and the osmanthus in here is giving me that tea scent in the background that would remind me of a cold iced tea during summer. Next is a new one from Calvin Klein and this is CK Everyone. This is supposed to be like a newer version or flunker of the original CK one. But this one, I enjoy this one better than the original. I just love the aquatic notes in here. It is so fresh. The orange scent in here is so good. I love orangey scent in a fragrance. Aside from lemon, orange is my favorite citrus scent. The orange oil and the ginger in the opening gives it such an energizing scent. I really love it. My favorite part of this perfume. The aquatic dry down is more of like a marine-like scent. Reminds me of a sea. There is a bit of like a salty scent in the background in there. More like those. Um, Reminds me of those men's cologne. So if you're like me who likes light, fresh, and aquatic scent during summer, then you might like this one. It isn't fruity or sweet. doesn't have any tropical fruit compared to the first one. But I like this one better. So next is 4711 Cologne. So this one is such a very citrusy and clean scent. Like literally clean scent. My daughter would say the scent of this reminds her of like a bathroom cleaner or like bathroom spray scent so this one has such a lemony or like a lime citrusy scent so actually this one is not the scent of this is not something i really really like to wear or something i just like smelling this perfume i like to use this just to freshen up when i'm at home i just love to spray spray this one it doesn't last really long it's just about one two hours for me 
That's why I only wear this one at home whenever I want to reapply to respray this then I can. It is like a comfort scent on the summer. If I have pink sugar that has overly sweet scent that I love, makes me feel good during a very cold day, winter day, this one is my pink sugar in the summer. This makes me feel good, makes me feel cool during a very hot day. One time when I was home, super hot, super hot inside. I just pick this up, spray this one around me, spray this one on me, and it I feel good. It reminds me of that moment when you open that 7-Up or very cold Sprite, that, that sound, the bubbles, and the scent of it. It has that like a soda-like scent to me. This is something I like to wear when I'm just at home and I just want to stay cool inside the house in a hot weather but not something that i would pick up whenever i go out during the day this is kind of similar to tom ford's neroli portofino as well i just remember now yeah they're yeah, kind of similar only this one is a very very affordable price so next is another recent favorite and this one is anna suiz la nuit de bohim so the name of the the name and the bottle of this perfume is giving me an impression that it's gonna be um, something sweet or if not sweet something dark something like that mysterious but the scent is nothing like that I'm not disappointed I really love it it is something it is very clean and another creamy scent I love creamy scent it, it has that cooling cooling vibe whenever I I spray or smell this one I feel like cool I feel like there's a, like um, something cool in the air like a cooling effect I don't know if it's just me or you feel that one as well in a perfume it's giving you like a cool feeling whenever you spray it or smell it and this is soapy as well which i like i like clean soapy scent but this one is more like a feminine um soapy scent in here reminds me of those um creamy lather or like rosy scent um bath soap something like that it has rose in here and oud as well but the oud in here i don't find it strong or quite offensive or strange smelling as well as the rose so i'm not really a big fan of rose scent but this one it isn't bad i love it it's just like um just like a creamy rose more of like a creamy rose scent to me it reminds me of a soap liquid milk soap and i think this could be a summer night scent to me this, this might be light fresh but i could wear this one during night time i find the rose and the wood in here quite a little bit sensual in here it's more light it's clean and fresh yet there's a bit of a sexiness in this perfume so next one here is a sample that i almost finished because i've been wearing this one with, during the start of summer and this is juliet has a guns vanilla vibe but don't be confused with the name vanilla in here it isn't your very sweet gourmand or delicious kind of vanilla this one is more so the vanilla in here, it isn't that delicious, sweet kind of vanilla or the gourmand type vanilla. It isn't. This is such a summery kind of vanilla. The moment I spray it on me, reminds me of the sea right away. It has that suntan lotion vibe, sunscreen kind of scent. That scent, smell of your skin when you apply a sunscreen or a sun a tan lotion and then you go to the sea it's quite salty and there's a bit scent of the lotion like a creamy sweet scent mixed with that scent the salty scent from the air or the sea that is the kind of scent that you are gonna get in this perfume so i did wear this one a lot when i went to the beach when i go out the start of the summer i actually like it but there's a bit of sweetness i get the vanilla in here but it isn't cloying it isn't your sweet gourmand type of vanilla which i love because i can't take wearing such um sweet scent during the hot day so i think this is just perfect for me sweet yet salty kind of scent so next one is a returning perfume so this one, I featured this one last year in my best um, summer fragrances. But right now, I cannot exempt this one since I am still wearing this one a lot during this summer. And this one is Aqua di Gioia um, by Giorgio Armani. So this one becomes like a staple of my summer scent already. So this one, uh, I'm saying this again and again. It has such a minty, cooling, fresh scent. Reminds me of those ice cold drink that drink mojito that is the kind of drink that i picture in my mind whenever i smell this one minty but not that toothpaste kind of scent it has that green scent in there as well minty citrusy cooling kind of scent such cooling scent for me it's perfect during the summer this is very exotic as well reminds me of like going on a holiday in an island 
that kind of scent and this dries down into a sweet but not cloying just skin scent kind this is sugar i can get the sugar note in here but it isn't like pink sugar kind of scent just skin scent almost watery kind of sweetness when it dries down on your skin and it lasts really really long so last one is actually like an all year round perfume to me like a go-to scent but i wear this one more often during summer spring or summer and this is chanel chance otondra so i just love how light and fresh and feminine this one feminine and flirty yet it isn't sweet kind of scent this is almost like um same vibe as versace crystal to me although bright crystal is more citrusy this one i love the grapefruit in here this is more of like a fruity floral scent to me a little bit musky in a dry down as well this one is very safe to wear as well another easy to wear perfume could be good both good and bad because it's quite different from any other chanel um, fragrances most chanel that are quite more what strong sophisticated something not an ordinary scent to me well this one is more casual could be good for that reason but could be bad as well for the price because it is quite expensive just like other chanel fragrances but the scent is quite simple nothing complicated but to me it's such a good buy because i really love the scent and i am really wearing this perfume it has such a cheerful feminine vibe to me such a joyful happy scent so that would be it for my current um, summer fragrances, my fresh, and light, clean smelling fragrances. So I'm just giving short descriptions of these perfumes in this video. But if you want more to know more of each of these fragrances, I have done a separate video on this one. I'm just going to add the link in the description box if you're interested. So thank you for watching and see you again next time.